Anyone paying attention has noticed that the last few weeks, the markets have been violently responding to the perfect storm of coronavirus fears, uh, collapse in energy, along with the general deflation of the global debt balloon and the longest bull market in history. Virtually all assets are down. And uh, the question that I've been getting is, have we hit bottom? Is this an opportunistic time to be a buyer? The reality is, uh, this is always a tough question to answer, and nobody knows when we hit bottom, just as nobody knew exactly when we were at the top. Furthermore, both bad markets and good markets can last longer than expected. While the average length of a bull market has been roughly four and a half years, and the average bear market has been about nine months, we just came off of an 11 year bull market run. And we've certainly experienced bear markets like the first 20, extended bear markets like the first 20 years of uh, the 20th century or the 1930s or the 1970s. Though whether or not we've hit bottom is not nearly as important as a of a question for investors as whether we've had a chance to work through the distress cycle for opportunities to become abundant and to avoid catching falling knives. The typical distress uh, cycle um, must experience four general phases before opportunities become abundant. So number one is wholesale price collapses and deteriorating credit quality. Number two, uh, there are generally covenant or loan agreements are violated, and we start to see real cash flow uh, pressures. Three, um, it's usually we start to witness payment defaults, deals are broken, insolvencies, etc. And four, the final phase before opportun when opportunities are actually available is when you start to experience forced liquidation, distress sales, bankruptcies, etc. The biggest challenge today, however, is we're witnessing a truly unique combination of both an economic crisis and a financial crisis. A financial crisis is characterized by the collapse of financial assets, liquidity shortage, and just general up upheaval of the financial system. You know, as we saw in 2008. An economic crisis, however, is characterized by supply and demand challenges. You know, things like low production levels, unemployment, falling GDP growth, and inflation. Now, a financial crisis can be dampened by government stimulus and uh, intervention, uh, but economic crises require people to get back to work. Factories are functioning, stores are selling, teachers are teaching, basketball players are playing, etc. No one can tell you how deep uh, uh, this bear market will be. But only once the duration and impact of the coronavirus can be handicapped and once the distress process takes its proper course can opportunistic investors make thoughtful investment decisions. For now, it's all about managing risk and carefully monitoring the portfolio, as well as the situation. Uh, extraordinary opportunities will yet come. In the description below this video, I've included a link to articles that I thought would be relevant to, for investors during these turbulent times. I hope you enjoy them. Stay healthy, stay thoughtful, stay calm. There will be brighter days ahead.